I'm a share of my money, it's got to be for a good, a good cause. Right. At this point, it was just going to one person. Right. And that's what I found out in all coalitions of DJs. It goes in one person's bank account. Oh, shit. Right. God, so damn, I'm no sure one of, No one of DJs was talking about they ain't eating and that or this and this and that. And then you got to break records. Right. And then there's only a, a lot of skill set people that can break records. A lot of people can't break records. Speaking, speaking of breaking records. What is what? Why is now it's hard to break records today? Or and and I'll ask the other question after you answer that one. Um, the reason why it's hard now is there's not DJs out there. It's push a button people. Mm. You know, yeah, but you gotta understand. Excuse me, you gotta understand. I was a push a button nigga. Right, right. But you gotta learn the art. See, when we became C CDs DJs, uh -huh. the record DJs didn't like us. Cause CDs came, it was the next digital thing. Right, right. The pioneers. <laughs> then you had the mini discs. You yeah. had money, you had mini discs. Yeah. So um they they scratch with records. So they feel like we ain't real DJ. Right. So right. it's generation to generation to tell the motherfucker you ain't a real motherfucking <laughs> DJ. So when the women start doing it, because like you gotta understand from my space, right. I'm an old ass nigga. Right. From my space, they had my space models. Mm -hmm. They really weren't models. They was just hood girls. Yeah, on MySpace. <laughs> yeah, on MySpace. And then it turned into Facebook. Then right. it turned into Twitter. Twitter. Right. Then they started DJing after Twitter till before it came to Instagram. Right, right. So then when it came to Instagram, it was only about a picture and, and a video, which they made it a little longer now. It was only 15 seconds. Right. You had Vine, Vine and Duke. I didn't like Vine, just I don't like TikTok. Right, right. But it's something that you have to do because it's a new generation of and you got to um, keep up. Of social media. So how much it costs to break an artist? Me? <laughs> <laughs> that goes to value with me because I was getting paid from the company. Right, right, right. So I, I can walk in the office and get an artist a deal. Just like a lot of people don't know that I got Yellow his deal. Okay, Yellow B. Then we moved on to Trap Boy. Then they moved on the Mo3. Mm -hmm. So I was all in that because I had Onyx when I used to have people right. perform at Onyx. Right, That's right. why I do Thirst. You just experienced I'm back at the Hookah Lounge. Mm -hmm. So... It's a way of me giving back, right? Because I want everybody to make money, right, right, right. How, do, what do an artist need to be broke? Like, what are the artists missing, or no, what, what do they need? The artists need to understand that the rap is a billionaire company. Right. It's not a millionaire or can you do me a favor company, right? This is you can't go to drum and say drummer do me a favor, right? You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. Have that same respect to every DJ, then it won't be a problem between artists and DJs right. and egos because. We do the same thing, not knowing drama them and Khaled, they don't, they don't, they, they, we all the same people. That's right. what I'm gonna say. But right. we get it out the mud and don't get the respect because they'll come and take it like it's theirs because you gotta go to a program director. Right. So you're a street G DJ, so it's a long ladder to go and you gotta have a lot of talent to move. Mm -hmm. You gotta be political. So to most rappers, to get your record broke, it's basically having a good relationship with a DJ because it's priceless. Right, right. But right. you got to treat it the same way because what I experienced out of the whole situation, I may break your record, but I'm, I'm trying to get a free show, or I'm trying to get a low ball show. Right, right. But you charge me, you send me to your manager, give me. Look at that boot price. And so like, I stopped breaking motherfuckers. Right, right, right. When they right. come to me, it's a fight. Right, right, right. Like I done knocked out a lot of niggas. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, you heard. Yeah, nigga. I, I knocked heard. some grills out, <laughs> nigga. It was serious. Now I was doing perfect push ups. Man, man, say, hey, man, do you remember that time when uh, you was at Chris Style? You know, you used to, you used to break us the jump out boys. Yeah, jump out boys. Yeah, 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 right. I, yeah, I know. Yeah. Nigga, Lil yeah. Dick, all of us. We was yeah. up there, Big D, 909 Commission. Yeah. Man, you remember the time when we was up there and got in the fight with uh, 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 Young Jock in the back? We were supposed to do it, and they were supposed to come to the studio that night. I didn't even know what happened because I was DJing. Yeah, you was DJing that night. And I was, I was, <laughs> di I was chilling with. His female artist, uh -huh. and I don't know if Jock was thinking I was hollering it. I don't know if it had anything else to do with it, but I think I think y'all had it, man. On the cool, I was breaking y'all records like it wasn't shit, like candy. We was on the radio every <clears throat> every week. Y'all had a movement behind you, and then that's when Earth Jump Out Boys, Chris Style, Jump Out Boys, Chris Style. Well, I got Earth. a question for you. Yeah. What happened? Okay, egos. The group was too big. It started getting too big. It, it, it was. By the time you looked up, Jump Out Boys was almost 12, 13, 14, 15 niggas. And then it broke off. Right, 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 right. You know what right. I'm saying? Then it broke off. Right, right. So when Jump Out Boys broke off, uh, C. Hen, Taz, 
and swole so trying to see him was a jump out boy yeah see him jump so out i'm boy. gonna follow him back on facebook <laughs> I didn't know that because yes. he, he gave me so much respect. It's like because you was there at the beginning, right? But I, I follow him on Instagram. But okay, it's like I like what I try to do is everybody on my social media I separate. Right, right. You shouldn't be looking at me on Facebook and then right. look at me on and then it get weird when you start liking <laughs> all my social media. You be like, God damn, nigga, it's the same fucking post. Yeah, just show me one piece of love. Why the one fuck? Y'all. I was trying to get that kid shit. 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 Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be shit.